Hello everyone, welcome to my premiere of Donna Just Being Real, The Only Way to Be. And today is part four, Lover's Triangle, Victor, Stacy, and Cindy. Recap. Victor cheated on his fiance Stacy with Cindy. Cindy got pregnant. Victor wanted Cindy to have an abortion, but Cindy said, no way, it's not happening. So Victor finally had to confess and tell his fiance that he cheated on her and she's pregnant. His fiance Stacy was quite upset. She wasn't happy about it at all, so she decided to go and visit Cindy. And she offered her $100,000 to be gone, to disappear, don't come back. Cindy said, no way, I'm going nowhere and I'm having this baby and I'm staying in town. Hmm. Well, Stacy wasn't quite happy about that, so she told Victor to kill her, that she has to kill Cindy. Victor is like, oh my gosh. Well, we're going to find out. Is Victor actually going to go through this and kill Cindy for his love for Stacy? Mm, mm, mm. Short Story Part 4 Lover's Triangle Victor, Stacy, and Cindy Written by Donna Produced by Donna like, share, subscribe, and leave feedback in the comments section. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, my love. So did you figure out how you're going to kill Cindy? You're really serious about this? Yes, I am Victor. This is your mess. If you love me, you will do it. Okay, my love. I will do it. This is all my fault. You made me so happy, Victor. You must do it quick. Before this fat half start telling people she is pregnant by you. Victor driving to work. I can't believe what Stacy is wanting me to do. I guess I have no choice. It's all my fault. I have to fix it. Tomorrow night. I have to kill Cindy. Cindy having lunch with her brother Derek. I'm glad you let me take you out on your lunch break sis. How is your apartment doing? Thanks Derek for lunch. The apartment is fine. I was thinking this weekend, we take a drive over to mom and dad's house, so you can tell them the good news. You having a baby. I would love to do that. I know dad will put some steaks on the grill. You know dad in the grill. Mom with her delicious potato salad with crispy bacon bits on top. Good. I will pick you up and we take a drive over to mom and dad's house. Derek time for me to head back to work. Fine. Let's go. I love you, brother. I love you too, sis. Victor's father Jose is in the Hamptons on the beach with his lady Karen. Babe, I'm really enjoying our vacation together. I'm so glad you are enjoying it, Karen. We needed it. I know you were concerned about your son Victor the other day. Did you speak to him? No, I called him and left him a message. He didn't call back. The last time I seen him, he said he had something to tell me. He decided he would tell me later. I hope everything okay with him. Jose. I feel he is fine. He might be nervous about getting married. Karen. You might be right. I'm so glad my son Victor is finally settling down. After his mother died, Victor was all over the place with different women. Partying all night. Finally he found someone to settle down with. I see. I can tell Victor really loves his fiancée Stacy. That's good to hear. After we soak up some more of the sun, let's go for some wine tasting. Afterwards we go out for dinner and dancing. Wherever you want to go. Sounds good. Love you. Love you too, Karen. Victor on his way over to Cindy's apartment to kill her. I'm going over to Cindy's apartment. I will act nice about her having my baby. Slip some poison in her drink. Wait. What if she doesn't leave her drink alone for me to slip poison in it? I can grab a blunt object and hit her on the head. What might be better? I ring her doorbell. Once she comes out, I sneak up behind her and push her down the stairs. She breaks her neck and dies. Well ladies and gentlemen, Victor is on his way over to Cindy's apartment. Do you think Victor is going to kill Cindy? To please his fiancée Stacy, Stacy is at home waiting for Victor. I'm so glad Victor is killing that trifling hoe tonight. I'm just sitting here waiting patiently for Victor to call me. To tell me he killed that bitch. With this fat half out the picture. We can go on with our lives and be merry. Victor pulled up to Cindy's apartment building. Now he is standing in the hallway of her apartment building. I've been standing here for an hour. Frozen in front of Cindy's apartment door. 
I can't go through with it. And kill Cindy. When I tell Stacy I didn't kill Cindy. I might be the dead one tonight. Honey you home. I've been waiting for you to call me. Is the bitch dead? How did you do it? I hope it wasn't too messy with blood all over the place. Give me all your clothes. So I can burn them in the fireplace. Just in case you got some blood on your clothes. Shoes too. My love. I couldn't do it. Are you kidding me? What? Do you mean, you didn't kill Cindy? How could you do this to us? Sorry Stacy. I drove to her apartment. I just couldn't get the nerve to do it. Stacy we can work this out. I was thinking on my way driving home. I will have my accountant send Cindy money every month. For her to keep her damn mouth shut. We can go on with our lives. No. I want that hoe dead. One week later. Cindy at her brother Derek's house. That was so much fun at dad's and mom's house. Yes it was. Mom and dad is so excited they are going to be grandparents. They sure are. Well Derek. I'm going to head home now. I have to be at work early tomorrow morning. Plus I have to take Muffin. For his evening walk. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night sis. Cindy taking Muffin to the park for his evening walk. Muffin we almost at the park. We can't stay too long at the park. It's going to get dark soon. So make it quick. Muffin can you believe Victor's fiance? She had the nerve to come to my job. Offering me money. To leave town with the baby. She lost her damn mind. All that bleaching of her hair. Done fried her brain cells. I'm not going anywhere. What a lovely night Muffin. I hope you got enough exercise. Muffin you are going to get a lot of exercise. When Victor buy us a house with a huge backyard. For you to run around in. A matter of fact. I will call Victor. First thing in the morning. We can use a new car. I'm so tired of driving around in my beat up car. That keeps breaking down. Victor can afford to get us an updated new car. For the baby. Okay Muffin time to head home. Early day at the library. What are you doing here? Are you following me? Cindy you could have just taken the damn check and be gone. He doesn't want a fat heifer in cheap makeup. Listen here. You bleached blonde bitch. Me and the baby are going nowhere. You and Victor will have to accept it. You fat heifa. You must die. What did you say? You heard me ho. Stacy just shot Cindy. Cindy. Why are you coming home so late? I've been calling you. I was busy taking care of your mess. What? I killed the bitch. I can't believe it. You really killed Cindy? Yes I did. I parked in front of her home. I see her coming out her apartment building. Walking that ugly mutt of a dog she has. Then followed her to the park. Pulled out my Glock. That my daddy brought me for my 25th birthday. And shot the heifa. What Stacy? You crazy. How could you? Simple. Just point and shoot. I'm a Texas girl. My daddy taught me how to shoot all kinds of guns and rifles. Since I was 10 years old. What about her dog? Did you kill the dog too? Really Victor? What kind of person do you think I am? Killing animals. I can't believe it. Believe it. After I shot her. I dragged her body into the bushes. The hole probably won't be discovered for a few days. Maybe months. Wow. Honey. I need to take a shower and change. I can't believe this. Babe call up our favorite restaurant. Make some reservations for tonight. We need to celebrate. The bitch is dead. After dinner let's go dancing. That fat trifling heifa is out of our lives. I can't believe this. What Stacy just told me. She killed Cindy. Now she want to go out for dinner and dancing. What the hell? Almost two days later. What's going on Derek? I noticed you were very quiet in office meeting. I feel something not right with my sister Dome. What do you mean? I haven't heard from my little sister in almost two days. You know my sister she is forever calling me. I keep calling her. Leaving messages. No reply. I went to her apartment. I used my key and went in her apartment. 
It's like she hasn't been there. Really Derek? That's not good. I'm heading out early. I need to go to the police. I'll go with you buddy. Thanks I appreciate that dome. Derek is extremely worried about his sister Cindy. He hasn't heard from her in almost two days. He kept calling her. No reply. Derek even went over her apartment. It looked like Cindy hasn't been there. Now Derek is at the police precinct. Talking to a detective. Good afternoon Derek. I'm Detective Jack Newtown. The officer at the front desk told me. Your sister is missing. By the name of Cindy. Yes Detective Jack Newtown. I haven't heard from her in almost two days. She is also pregnant. Woo. She is pregnant as well. Can you tell me the last time you seen your sister? Sure. It was almost two days ago. She was over my place. We were talking and laughing. Cindy said. I have to leave. To take her dog Muffin for his evening walk at the park. What I need from you. What was she wearing that night at your place? What part she usually takes the dog walking? I will take it to Lieutenant Chef Disaster. We will immediately check her apartment in the park. Did you call her job? Yes, detective. They said they haven't heard from her. Derek don't worry. We are on this missing case now. Thank you. I will personally keep in touch with you. Detective Jack Newtown and Lieutenant are discussing the case on Cindy. Detective Jack Newtown. I heard a man came in to report his pregnant sister missing. Yes, Lieutenant Chef Disaster. Who is she pregnant by? All the brothers said. It's by some rich guy. He not sure of his name. It starts with the letter V he also told me. The guy wanted her to have an abortion. Really? He wanted her to have an abortion? We must find this lady. Him as well. Detective I need you to get a team on this case immediately. Find this lady. I'm already on it. Great. Once you check her apartment. You will find some clues. That will lead us to this V character as well. I'm on it lieutenant. We are running out of time. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, this is a mess. Can you believe Stacy actually shot Cindy? Okay, poor Derek, he's so upset, he don't know where his sister's at. So hopefully, Detective Jack Newtown and Lieutenant Chef Disaster will be able to solve this case. You have to stay tuned to find out in part 5 what's going to happen next. And also, leave some feedback, share your thoughts and opinion in the comment section, and let me know what do you think of Stacy? What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think of Victor? Oh, gosh, it's just a mess. Just share your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Hmm, poor Derek. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Share with others. Enjoy. Stay tuned. Part 5 of Lover's Triangle. Victor, Stacy, and Cindy. Share, like, Subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned for part 5 Lovers Triangle, Victor, Stacy, and Cindy. Thank you for watching.